Hi, I'm Paul Hutchinson and welcome back to the sixth episode of Pistol Tune. Last week we discussed a full sight picture. If you remember or you recall, what I did was we dis described the three different sight pictures. Full sight picture, distance on difficult, flash sight picture and instinctive tune. So let's go on to flash sight picture. What is it? Well, it's a more realistic real world technique, first of all. It's uh, a technique that we use quite up close and personal. Uh, anything from point blank up to 10, 15 meters. When you get quite good at it, you can go back even further. It depends how you practice it, how you pick it up. We all have our own abilities and it's vital that you learn where you are. It might be 10 meters, it might be 15, it might be 25, it might be even further back. So. What is flash sight picture? Well, basically, flash sight picture, and I'll go through it slowly for you, is as we draw the weapon, the threat has appeared in front of us. We pick up that front foresight as soon as we've stopped tracking. Okay, we've picked up that front foresight. It's on the target where we want it to be. We manipulate the trigger. We squeeze the trigger. Okay, now we're going to come to sque squeezing the trigger in uh, episode eight. But what we're looking at here is we're looking at picking that up. As soon as we pick up that front foresight and it's through the rear sight, yeah, it's not here, I'm not picking it up there, there's my front foresight, I'm actually looking through the rear sight, I've picked up my front foresight, it's on the shot, I'm going to squeeze the action. So if I go through it a little bit faster, as I go through there, that was high, that was at 12, 1 o'clock, okay, as I go through there, that was more at 7 o'clock, okay, but that's, as soon as I pick it up, I'm squeezing the action. Now what does that mean? Well, basically, if I'm at 10 metres, and I'm... I'm aiming here, but I haven't got precisely that rear sight. I haven't got that full epsilon sight picture. I've got that, I've got that uh, flash sight picture. Well, if it was high, all it would mean is it hit me here or here. It'll still spoil the day, trust me. Okay? If I'm low, yeah, I'm at 6 o'clock, it means that I'm going to hit him here. It's still going to have the adverse effect that we want. Okay? So that's a flash sight picture. Real world technique. Please use it. Practice it, dry practice it. You don't have to do everything on a range. It's vital that you do and you get your live firing in. But you can do this dry practice, especially this skill. So let's go through it one last time. Okay, we see the threat, the threat's immediate. As soon as we punch it out, we pick it up, we pick up that front foresight. Dry practice, dry practice it. Weapon, empty. Nothing in it, it's empty. Okay, as soon as I'm here, got my weapon out, so, sorry, as soon as the, the threat appears in front of me, I'm drawing my pistol, I'm bringing it out, boom, squeeze, all right, so that one was around about even actually, okay, what I did do, and those that uh, have knowledge on that is, you'll have noticed that actually, I engaged the, the trigger squeeze before I locked out my, trig uh, my, my wrist, so, vitally, vital, so what we do here is we pick up that flash sight picture. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week's episode, we'll be looking at instinctive shooting, point of direction shooting, whichever way you want to look at it, but uh, whatever you want to call it. But again, a faster technique, not as accurate again. It has its limitations, but a good technique. Thank you for watching.